EPUB testing. The structure of EPUB files is precisely defined. Their metadata define a clear navigation hierarchy. The supporting files need to be stored and referenced as defined by the standard. The packaging of the resources needs to be done following a strict procedure. Otherwise, you risk your publication being unreadable by any ebook reader. No matter how careful you are or what tool you are using to create a book in EPUB format, a few mistakes can creep in. That is why you need to validate your ebook before distributing it. Validation is the process of making sure that your EPUB contains all the elements that ebook readers expect. An ebook reader can usually open an EPUB file that has not been validated. However, the contents might not render properly and the navigation might not work. The grade of accessibility is defined by the EPUB accessibility specification of the World Wide Web Consortium. As there are clearly defined rules, we can use software tools to test our documents. Tools can help us review our code for correctness. Does it contain any syntax errors? Do all our images have alternative text? Do we have the required metadata? Don't forget that even though tools can be of great help, they have their limitations. Software cannot determine the meaning of code elements. We need a practical test to check whether a publication can be used and understood by a person with disabilities. EPUB Check EPUB Check is a tool to validate the conformance of ebooks to the EPUB specifications. EPUB Check can be run as a standalone command line tool or used as a library. It is open source software maintained by the DAISY Consortium on behalf of the World Wide Web Consortium. You can find the link to it in the Documents tab of the Accessibility site. If you don't like working with a command line interface and prefer a more graphical user interface instead, then you could use the Pagina EPUB Checker. This tool incorporates EPUB Check and offers some additional functions. It is available for free and runs on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. You can find the link to it in the Documents tab of the Accessibility site. The command line version of EPUB Check can be recommended when you need to embed it in an automated production workflow. The Pagina EPUB Checker, with its graphical user interface, is nice when working manually. Let's try to check a publication. We select an EPUB file and open it using the Pagina EPUB Checker for validation. The results of the validation will be shown in the window. The tool issues error messages and warnings. It shows the type of error, the path of the analyzed file in the package, and the position of the code in question in the file. EPUB Check is great at finding problems, but in many cases it's lacking when it comes to explaining what those problems are. EPUB Check assumes that you have a certain level of knowledge and the know-how to fix the problem. In our case, the program is reporting a set of fatal errors caused by an unmatched paragraph element. The error message specifies the file and the line number. Let's fix it. Every paragraph start tag requires a matching paragraph end tag. As we can see here, the paragraph was not properly closed. So, we add the paragraph end tag. We save the file and restart the validation. Another error is reporting that the NCX identifier does not match the OPF identifier. If we compare these two values, we can see that their content don't match.
Let's fix this too. We restart the validator and voila! It now looks much better. EPUB Check is an excellent solution when searching for generic code problems, but it is a poor solution when it comes to finding accessibility issues. There are better tools for this. Ace by Daisy Ace by Daisy is a free open source tool for checking the accessibility of EPUBs. It was created to help evaluate their conformance to the EPUB accessibility specification. It performs a variety of automated checks, producing a list of violations that need fixing and data visualizations to aid the manual inspection process. It can be used as a standalone tool or can be integrated as a third party component into broader publishing workflows or authoring processes. You can find the link to it in the Documents tab of the Accessibility site. We start the app version of the ACE program. We open the same EPUB file that we have used before, containing the same errors, and start the validation. A report opens, showing the validation summary in the form of a table. Several tabs give us access to the details. Under Violations, we see a table of the automated tests that have discovered problems, with suggestions for remedying them, and links to the relevant sections of the DAISY Accessible Publishing Knowledge Base. The table ranks the violations according to their level of severity – critical, serious, moderate, or minor. It classifies violations according to their rule set categories. Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2A Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2AA, EPUB, Best Practice, or Other. This is useful for getting a quick overview of the violations. The Metadata tab presents a table of all the publication's metadata from its package document and makes special mention of present or missing accessibility metadata. The Outlines tab presents extracted views of different aspects of the publication structure presented side by side for quick comparison. The Outlines are intended to assist with manual checking. They are Table of Contents, taken from the EPUB navigation document, Headings, including indications of missing heading levels. For example, going from Heading 1 to Heading 3 with no Heading 2 in between. And HTML, which is a view of just the heading content and sectioning content. The Images tab presents a table of all the images in the publication and the accessible properties for each one. The table columns are Image, showing the image itself, the contents of the alt attribute, the contents of the element referenced by the area described by attribute, the fit caption tag for the image, the location of the image in the EPUB, and the image's role attribute value. Let's see how we can improve this publication. We'll start with the violations. There seem to be some metadata missing. So we add them to the metadata block in the OPF file. Now let's rerun the document check. All the validation errors related to metadata have been solved. Next, we have a serious error because the language was not defined in an HTML element. So we add it to the corresponding file and do another recheck. Again, the validation returns fewer errors. The validator has detected insufficient color contrasts for the headings in Chapter 5. We have to fix this in the Style Sheet and recheck.
The validator is reporting a case of inappropriate heading level nesting. We can see this problem in the outline section. The file for chapter 2 has a heading of level 3 under a heading of level 1. Of course, this is not correctly nested. We fix this so that we have a heading of level 2 following the heading of level 1. We restart the validator and now we can see that the outline section no longer shows any problems. All violations have been resolved too. Let's look at the metadata section. We fixed our metadata problems. So all the metadata reported as missing here are optional. This is just a reminder in case we want to consider adding them. Let's go to the images. We see all the images and their describing attributes. The second image has no alternative text. It shows a set of sparkles. This image doesn't add any content to the book. It's for illustration purposes only. When we look at the code, we see an alt tag attribute without any content. We can guess that the author intended to signal a screen reader to ignore this image. To increase the EPUB's compatibility with as many ebook readers as possible, we add the role presentation to this image. This tells a screen reader that the alternative description was intentionally left empty and the image should be ignored. When we rerun our validation, we can see that the role has been added to the image. The alternative text for the third image just reads image. It doesn't describe it. We open the file in which the image is referenced and we update the alternative description to match the content of the image. Looking at the alternative text of the image, we can see that it starts with the text image. Please note that this is not good style. A screen reader will present this information as an image, so this will present as repetition. We use our editor to delete this text fragment. As the program cannot evaluate the meaning of alternative image descriptions, we manually check each one to make sure it matches the content of the image. This is the final step of our validation process. That's it! Our EPOM passes all of the ACE program's validation tests. Practical tests The previous tests analyzed the code syntax and checked for misplaced or missing elements. These checks follow strict rules and can therefore be automated using software tools. Even though these tools can be of great help, they have their limits. The software cannot determine the meaning of code elements. We need a practical test to check whether an EPUB can be used and understood by a person with disabilities. Are the alternative descriptions correct? Do they describe the content of the image in such a way that a person with visual disabilities can get an idea of what they portray? Does the sequence of the content make sense? Is the color contrast always sufficient? Knowledgeable human evaluation is always required to determine if an EPUB is accessible. Ebooks can be read on hundreds of different types of reading software and devices. It is totally unrealistic to test an EPUB on them all. As the validation procedure has made sure that our book can be read on as many devices as possible, it is sufficient to test the content aspects on three types of ebook readers. By testing on a PC, we can check whether the document works well with screen reader technology. By testing on a smartphone or a tablet, we can check whether the document works with touchscreen technology. For example, are potential links in the document large enough to be usable? By testing on an ebook device with a grayscale screen, we can check whether the document can be read without color. For our example, we will use Apple Books on Mac OS in combination with a voiceover screen reader. We load our book and start the screen reader. Let's try to read some text. Heading Level 1 Alice's Adventures in Wonderland Heading Level 2 Introduction New Line Alice with the Mad Hatter 
March hair, and or mouse at the tea party table image. Heading level 3. This is a list of chapter titles. As you can see, VoiceOver reports the heading as a heading and presents the image with its alternative description. We come to a list. Bullet down the rabbit hole. Bullet a pool of tears. Bullet a caucus race and a long tail. Heading level 3. Main characters. A little test table. We come to a table. Name. Description. Alice. Alice is a child in the mid-Victorian era. The white rabbit. The white rabbit appears at the very beginning of the book, wearing a waistcoat. The hatter. The hatter explains to Alice that he and the March Hare are always having tea. The voiceover screen reader reads the contents of the list and the table, but does not offer any information about their structure. Compared to the behavior of a web browser, this ebook reader offers us much less information. Even though EPUB is based on web technology, ebook readers may be technologically lagging behind. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland, is in 1806. Here is our book on an Android device. We are using the Google Play Books app and have uploaded the document to our device. We start the TalkBack screen reader. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, page 5 of 109. Showing full screen view. Alert global context menu. Read from top, in list, 9 items. Double tap to activate. Alice's, Adven Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Page content, web view. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Heading 1. Introduction. Heading 2. Alice with the Mad Hatter, March Hare, and Dormouse at the tea party table. Graphic. This is a list of chapter titles. Heading 3. In list 3 items. Down the rabbit hole. Bullet. A pool of tears. Bullet. A caucus race and a long tail. Test table with main characters. Heading 3. Out of list. Name. Column header. Row 1. In grid. 4 rows. 2 columns. Description. Column header. Alice. Row 2. Name. Alice is a child in the mid-Victorian era. Description. The White Rabbit. Row 3. Name. The White Rabbit appears at the very beginning of the book, wearing a waistcoat. Description. The Hatter. Row 4. Name. The Hatter explains to Alice that he and the March Hare are always having tea. Description. Not checked, bookmark, out of grid. Double tap to toggle. When we start to read it, we can observe that Google's Book Reader offers a better reading experience than Apple Books on Mac OS does. Headings and alternative text of images get read to the user, and list and table structures are identified and presented as such. Alert local context menu. Not checked bookmark. Double actions in list two items. Double tap to activate. Alert Actions. Next page, in list, three items. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, page 5 of 109. Alert Global Context Menu. Read from top, in list, nine items. Alice's, Adven Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Page Content, Web View. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland, is an 1865 novel written by... How is the book presented on an ebook device? This is what the book looks like on an ebook device that uses an e ink display. Currently, we are using the version without the color corrections we made earlier. We are looking at the first page in Chapter 5. Compare the heading with the one of the following chapter. Can you see that the contrast for the heading of Chapter 5 is not sufficient? We've tested our ebook on a PC, a touchscreen device, and an ebook device. The reading experience was a little different each time.
The validation procedure gives us a guarantee that we can read the information on all types of ebook readers independently from the use of assistive technology. Where to continue? You have seen an introduction on how to validate and test an existing ebook that uses the EPUB file format. Depending on your personal interests, you could continue with the following chapter EPUBs in Adobe InDesign. Accessibility. For more information, visit op.europa.eu slash en slash web slash accessibility.